Hi everybody, spinning pole, how to prevent it. Okay, it's usually where, it's usually the top three sections, especially the first section at the very top. It'll wear, the wrong one there, it'll wear just here. Because when you're doing downstairs, and you're using the short pole, this will often twist, you can hear it. And it'll wear in that position, so you've got to tighten the pole up even tighter which causes wear even faster. So what do you do? Well you can just saw off this bit if you want to. Okay, but it's a bit of a chore, a bit of a chew on, so all you need to do really is this, I'll show you. Just change this camera angle. Okay, there's the pole. Okay. This is a gardener's pole, okay. Um, all you need to do is get some uh, tape like this insulation tape and just tape it up so that you've got quite a big thick layer of that of the tape build up a nice big step so that the um, clamp can't go over it okay cut off the scissors don't stretch it then what you've got pretty obvious that will just butt up to the end there that will get a fresh area to clamp on now so you won't get that twist. Alright, you're going to have a bit of a longer pole I'm just going to do the other one on this Gardner's 35 I only use the first four sections usually uh, if I need another section for doing second story you know the like, dormer windows right on top of people's roofs and that I'll get another section out. That's all I need. I think there's seven sections. So that's all I need extra on this. So what I've done here. Now your pole's not going to close up as it did before. Let's get these sections right. They're butting together like this. Okay, line the clamps up here. Looks a bit better. Now you can see what you've got here. You've got these steps which prevent the actual clamps clamping onto the area that's actually worn, which is the most common. Failing that, you can always sew those bits off. Uh, another tip you can do as well, you see these gaps here. Okay, a lot of poles are quite notorious and these gaps will tend to close up quite rapidly as the pole wears naturally. Uh, all you need to do, there's a bit of a chew on, but all you need to do is take the clamps off, the ones that are affected, because the ones lower down are used less. So you're probably not going to get affected like that, but the top three at least. Take the clamps off and saw a bit of this clamp here the surface down with a hacksaw so that you have got a gap again and then you'll find you've rejuvenated your clamps okay these are still working well but I've put the tapes on now so that's protecting the pole from further twists there's nothing worse than a twisting pole when you're trying to work okay and there you go that's another uh, tip for you, so that's job done.